If you want to model the motion of an animal, the easiest way to start is often to consult motion capture or video footage. But what about animals for which real-world data is impossible to obtain? Our approach to gait synthesis allows creatures like this to be animated by learning a model of motion style from a database of pre-captured animal gaits. We start with a set of video footage capturing walking gaits for a range of different animals. This footage is obtained from online video sharing sites such as YouTube, Flickr Video, and a number of other sources. The data we use covers a range of 6 bipeds and 12 quadrupeds, with a variety of different shapes and sizes. We will use the gazelle as an example of how this data is processed. For each animal, we track a series of key points over the course of the video. A space-time constraints optimization is then solved to fit a physically valid gait cycle to the motion of these points. This gait cycle represents the ground truth gait for the animal. By pre-processing this motion database with a novel algorithm we call joint inverse optimization, the style of the gates for which we have video footage can be transferred onto new animals. To illustrate the performance of our approach, the top left shows the ground truth motion for the gazelle, as extracted from video footage, while on the right, we show a gate automatically synthesized by our method. For comparison, we also show the results of two alternative techniques as described in the paper. Each of the synthesized gates was created by excluding all data associated with the gazelle from our model, then resynthesizing its motion based only on the other remaining animals. Note how in the motion synthesized by kinematic interpolation, the gazelle does not lift its feet sufficiently off the ground. The two methods based on the interpolation of parameters found by inverse optimization perform better, but without joint inverse optimization, the gazelle's front knee inaccurately bends toward the end of its contact phase. The artifacts exhibited vary from animal to animal. For the ostrich, our proposed method better captures the correct bend at the knee. Here, without joint inverse optimization, the giraffe's front knee doesn't bend during its swing phase. Similarly, our approach better captures the correct lift of the elephant's front foot. Because our technique does not require any motion data for an animal in order to synthesize a gait for it, it can be applied to recreating the gaits of extinct creatures. Here, we show the motion synthesized by our method for a range of different extinct mammals and land birds. The generated gates take into consideration not only the relative shapes of different animals, but also their total sizes. This is illustrated here on a series of three different dinosaurs, which have been constructed to differ only in their sizes. The three gates synthesized for these animals display obvious stylistic differences, and are each suited to the animal's size in a visually plausible way. We show this same phenomenon on four quadrupedal dinosaurs, each created by scaling the model for a triceratops to match the size of several other dinosaurs. In this example, compare the motion of the triceratops in back to that of the protoceratops in front. These two gates differ in a way which visually captures the effects of the triceratops' significantly larger mass. Because our approach represents the style of an animal's gait with a set of biologically meaningful parameters, it is well suited to creating motions for animals unlike anything currently living.